and wireless, but I mean, like, yeah, that's not good. Forest. Okay. Five, I have one. All right, let's get into this. Where's the house? So we're playing a game that's like so um like it's an action roguelite but it's just like big budget you know what i mean it's just strange feeling oh i can't swim Like I just realized I gotta do a thing. Alright, that should be a little bit better. Probably can't swim yet. For me it was a matter I was going through $60 wired headphones uh, for years and the wireless headphones were 80 to 100 Damn, 80 to 100 for wireless headphones is pretty decent. For wired headphones with replaceable cables. Yeah, this one, I don't know if the cable would be replaceable or not. It has a switch in the middle, so I kind of suspect probably not. Uh, right. Right into it. I keep trying to reload. <laughs> Just force of habit, I guess. Is that everything? No, we got something up here. I'll have to look into a new headset though. And also, admittedly, I should really look into the microphone that uh, Seahorse recommended me. I've had, I've always had such like weird, like, I don't know. Hmm. My experience with like, uh, like room microphone, room mics has always been like uh, mixed. So I know that the generally regarded as like better, but but at the same time, it's just like yeah. There we go. for physical attack and re realize that would would do that. Oh, getting stuck on the wall. I 
guess it's mostly to prevent you from like getting double dot or like doubling back on stuff. Uh oh. Good. Nah, I can't leave the area. God. <laughs> oh. Uh, began. How you doing? I was about to say these tentacle vines just saved my fucking ass. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I've actually saved you a bit there. They absolutely saved me. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, Tentacle Vines. You're the real MVP. Just like J Bomb. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you for the bits, J Bomb. How you doing? Uh, I tried dating an Olympic skier. Oh. Mm. So what do we get for a weapon? I shall armor piercing. I fire rate. Aw, thank you for the bits. Thank you. It started I know, but it went downhill quickly. Oh no. Oh my gosh. J bomb, please. Egg pie, what's up? There it is. <laughs> there it is. How's things been? How's things been, Magpie? How's things been, J bomb? Pecan, what's up? How you doing? Uh, let's see what we got down here. I really need some heals. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. And... Uh, nope. So, I'm not entirely sure, like, what the mechanic is here. If it's just the... We level up the abilities on weapons, and we just have a chance to get those abilities on weapons, but we have to, like, level them up first. Like, this is Slugshot, but, like, that's all it will ever have, I guess? I, I, I don't know. It was your bomb. Not safe from me banning you in here. Oh no, what happened? <laughs> Doing pretty neato. Hope you have, sh uh, in the stream, been having a blast. Aww. Uh, no, I'm doing good. Doing all right? Good. Good to hear. Yeah. Joke crimes. Gotcha. Fair. Okay. That's the... Gate. Okay, so we could go this way. Well, we cut our respect. Oh, harsh to my mellows. Oh. Is there another door? There is. Okay. Over this way. Oh. Oh. No. It's tentacles. God damn. Uh, let's see. Okay, good. We need some health. This move and feel in this game is very, very, very snappy. Like, very fluid. Uh, way more, way more than what you'd think. Like, your character moves, uh, Celine moves really, um, really fast. Uh, you know. 
you have you have like a dash which is also acts as an air dash uh or moderate uh you know what go for it i'm willing to risk it oh like resin let's see i'm sure this will be fine yeah, yeah, it actually feels really good. Be great if there's some resin in this. Uh, wide maw. Mm, I guess I don't really need it. Like, very responsive. But at the same time, like, it's kind of funny because it does feel like the game, like, because it's so responsive, the game is definitely dialed around that. So by moments, it's like, oh, geez, I need to be, like, more mindful with, like, I need to be more proactive with my movement because they're not, like, they're asking a lot by moments. Expects you to be very mobile, exactly. is pretty okay. But it could be okay or perfect. You can make snap decisions, but it makes it look, uh, makes them look rewarding to do so. Yeah. Yeah, like, the game feels really good. Um, it's, it's really solid. Definitely no complaints with the movement in it. Like, by moments, it's actually... By moments early on, it actually felt like the movement was, like, almost too high. Because it was just, like... Because I expected the game to control worse. And by moments, like, sometimes I actually have to, like, stop. I actually have to like stop uh, running because like your movement like if I had to land on something really really like narrow or whatever like it's actually a little bit hard to do so when you're running hmm. everything feels like good you know what I mean I guess I could probably use this. Heal up. And then get something new. Probably didn't have to do that, I suppose. Is this resin? This might be resin. Resin enhancer. Uses the number of resins needed to upgrade max. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's an upgrade. Hell yeah. That's really good. Could cleanse this. I'm willing to do that actually. Okay. 
Let's get another item. Overload rush, suit artifact. Successful overloads briefly increase speed and protection 15%. Actually, that is something that I do need to open up the menu here for. Equipment, uh, yeah, see, like, traits. Proficiency level 5, so I assume it's just, like, these are the three options that we can get on, like, the handgun until we get the proficiency level 5, and then it opens up more options. I assume that's how this works, but it feels kind of weird to me. Pardon me. Oh, yeah, you can actually see it on this one. Um, there's a lot of things going on. Consumables. Mm. Hostiles. Oh. Uh -uh. Mm. Really what I was looking for though. Tutorials, there we go. Um I need to learn about overload. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's what we need to I was like, what is this overload thing? Was uh, do not require ammunition, but if they overheat, they can if fired continuously. After overheating, your weapon slowly recharges itself. You can speed up the process with an overload. Okay. Pull the trigger, indicate. Okay, good. Okay, now I know what that's about. I've been wondering because it kept using the term overload. I'm like, I don't know what overloading is. Alright. But, yeah, so Returnal's been really, really good. Um, still super, super early into the game, though, of course, but, you know. What I've played so far has been excellent. Also, another thing too about your movement speed being as high as it is, is it makes it so like getting through the areas. The areas are quite large in this. Like we haven't ex like we've been in areas like probably three times the size, and or at least like seen it generate an area like maybe not three times, but at least twice the size. And you can really just like fly through it because your mobility is just so clean and fast. Interesting. Okay. Is there a key? What do we got? Phantom limb. Eliminate the hostiles. 10% chance. Oh, nice. Health recovery. It's a good thing to have. Alright. Okay, so we got a door that's back that way. And I think we're supposed to be able to go up that way. I went back. Check out this other door first. But anyway, so how is it? Everyone. More enemies. I guess it's like something. Oh, we unlocked armor piercing. That's like something about the movement in this game is that like. Usually when I take a hit, I feel like it's mostly been because I've either been, like, too lazy with my movement when I need to be, like, doing more. Okay, it's this room. This game sort of reminds me of Beacon and Concept Vagley. Gotcha. Very high. I should have cleansed that other thing. 
that's obviously not the thing to do. Mm, let's do it. Okay, that's not a bad one to have. What is this thing? Anti-energy pulse. Releases an expanding burst of energy that turns hostile projectiles into... Whoa! Okay, seriously? That's good. That's a good thing to have. It eats bullets and gives us money for it. Bullet eater. Ooh, three star. Uh, yes, please. Hmm, pretty good. Have I ever played or seen Beacon? I have not. Uh, I have seen it. But I haven't played it. In fact, I believe I was gifted Beacon, now that I think about it. I had it, I had it on my backlog. Yeah, Beacon. Was gifted it uh, quite a while ago. I had it on my backlog of games to play, but I never ended up getting it cycled in through. Uh, uh, yeah, because it was uh, Dragon Soul that gifted it to me. Um, I had it cycled. I was going to cycle it in, but something came up and I forget what it was. So hard to get it every game. Like as much as as much as I really want to, it's just like sometimes it's just hard to squeeze things in. All right, we still haven't found the key to open the big door. So I'm gonna say uh, we have a door that's over there too. Now yeah, let's go check it out. So we're gonna go yeah straight through here. Is this the entrance? This is the entrance? Shit. <laughs> this isn't where I want to be. Hmm. Absolutely not where I want to be. All right, so let's go over this way. Okay, I went back to the same one. I need to go to this one. I don't know why, but this, like, the teleporting reminds me of, um, golf. <laughs> I know it's a weird thing to say, but... Uh. It's true. It's how I feel. Something that's gonna shoot a lot of bullets so I can 
use this item and get lots of money. And... And, uh, cure these, uh, fix these malfunctions. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Realized... Transports you to an unknown location. Hmm. Is it taking it like right back though? Oh, so much. I need give. That helped. Okay, so we can use it and and come back and pick up our previous item. Good to know. Okay, we got a shop. enough for anything. Uh, the letter. Oh, unlock all translation tiers of uh, the xenoglyphs. Our connection to the brethren is severed. Our agony is maddening. We cannot stop the endless cycle of violence to come. I find it interesting that you can actually like roll back to see like what the messages initially looked like. I haven't found the first key yet. No suit detected. Okay. There's also some enemies here. Got a big boy. Ooh, jeez. Oh god. <laughs> a little too much going on. Ow, the fuck. Oh, never mind. Is that it? Nope, that wasn't. Ah. Hmm. 
Oh gosh. Yeah, I gotta definitely drop some settings down here. Ugh. <laughs> well, this is basically unplayable right now. Ugh. Wow. Okay, settings it is. Where are you? <laughs> Let's see. Graphics. Definitely got to dial this down. Uh, even the menu's laggy right now. Definitely gonna drop these. I think it's something on your computer that's causing it. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm laggy right now too, aren't I? Didn't drop any frames. Take a look. Hmm. Let me take a look. Task manager. Windows update? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Returnal is only using like three, four percent. Oh, maybe an update. Hmm, unsure. I've definitely noticed some jitter here and there though anyway, so I think it's probably a good idea to turn some of those down. There we go, we fixed one of our problems. But so got something shooting at us though. There. Hmm. That seems better. I mean I'm not fighting like six things right now. Four percent actively. You need to be playing the game actively. True, I suppose so. I have no idea what that means. I don't know enough about all these things. They remove a tiny amount of grass if I go with low. No, my grass. I need those sprigs over there and those glowy things on that other stuff. I need, I need these. They're important. I don't know what they are, but I need them. All right, well, we'll see if that works out for us. Need them sprigs. Oh, there we go. Mm. 
death here, apparently. Hmm. It's like, I want to see what Ricocheting looks like, <laughs> and... Yeah, it's hard not to like that, so... So let me see. Oh. Are you serious? We just fucking... We shot through some rock! It's actually surprising that it worked that way. Okay, interesting. That's a little buff we get for timing our reload just right. My capacity to actually do that in the middle of a firefight, probably not that great, though. Because this game is pretty intense. Oh, speaking of which... The, you gotta be careful what I'm doing. I should use my thing and get some money. Only kills repair dash cooldown 15 seconds. Hmm. I definitely need some heals. a heal. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, that'll help a little bit. I don't think I can make it over to that one. I actually felt almost close. Alright, let's see what's in here. Nothing. Mm, need a key to get in there. Feels so close. I know that's not how it's supposed to be done, but you know, uh, we got a drop down point there. Uh, might as well get some more lag. Yeah, that was the one I was trying to get to. Uh oh. Of it. 
this again because uh Every time I shoot it, it shoots back just a couple shots. As I would say, it's like suicide bullets, but not quite. But... That is not what I meant to do. I'm gonna go like this. Oh my god, that is absolutely working. I can't believe that fucking worked. That's sick. <laughs> oh, level four. Which is almost a shame after, like, discovering the value of ricocheting shots. Shotgun. Okay, that's kind of... That, that was really sick. Look at my baby being smart. Aww. That's me, I did a smart thing. Being smart. Um let's turn let's turn some of this stuff down. See if this see if this can help. Let's see if it help a little bit. Honestly, I can't I haven't even seen like a difference visually. Like, it still looks really good, so... I guess I can take that now. I've been through here. Haven't. Areas are so big. One does. I need to believe it was nothing different than the other hostiles I dispatched, but was it? Or was it another version of me just trying to escape? It's fucked up. Big room now. Uh oh. Uh, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Uh, uh, that's not gonna work. Oh, that's probably not gonna work either. Oh, that gave me energy back though.
Careful what we're doing. Ooh. Defensive sword. Let's fucking go. Oop. Basically running a shotgun right now, and I have a lot of things that are a little bit too far away. Oh, oh shit! And one thing that's way too close. Ugh. I don't know what this does. Repair double efficiency. That would have been handy to have earlier. Should've thought I'd do it sooner, but hey chest. Okay, I need health. Uh, health room. Oh, thank God. What's this thing? Resin is shield. Picking up resin gives you a shield against the next hit. That sounds really nice. Malfunctions are clear. Oh my god, I'm alive. I'm more alive than ever, in fact. <laughs> I'm shocked I lived. <gasps> Level 5. Explosive spit. Is this the same weapon? This too. It just has a beam with it, too. So the next risky item you pick up. Yeah, maybe. So the question is, is where do we go from here? That room's a dead end. It was definitely worthwhile, but I think it looks like we just go straight back. down this way. Didn't even see it. Okay, we got a few enemies. Oh. 
there. Where's the one I'm using? Figuring out how this place works. <laughs> also, if I'm still lagging, y'all just give me a heads up, okay? But. Just use the tentacles a little bit as a treat. Currently not lagging. Was I lagging at all though? It's hard to tell because of course I have to keep my eyes on the sections I'm in. Oh, area lockdown. Uh oh, we got, we got green boys. And a red boy coming in. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. And it's dead. Whoa, shit. Whoa. here is just so hectic. And pitch. Want something to work on leveling up, I guess, so. Uh, more ladders, huh? gonna like get a little closer so that it drops this money closer. There. I 
Our brethren barred us from the citadels and sealed Pike and the others in the vaults, but it will not stop them from sending out their call and digging into our minds, making our nightmares real. Mm. Yo, Lukoa, what you up to? Oh. Ah. This is a raid getting raided. Oh. How y'all doing? Welcome, Lukoa. What are you up to? What are you playing? More. You're playing Super Mario 64. How's Mario 64 going? Mega Panda, welcome. <laughs> How y'all doing? Uh, oh. Welcome. How is everybody? Oh, here we go. Oops. I need to go up the staircase. No being seen. They'll have to count. They'll have to do. Alright, take care of that. That. And that. There we go. Yo! Uh, she's, uh, she's God speedrunner now. Oh my goodness. I see. Uh, I haven't played since a little kid. Did my first ever speedrun. Oh, hell yeah. How'd it go? I swear, Luko destroyed the speedrun record. Oh my gosh. I believe it. How's things going? It's so dang good to the point where uh, they can't even show it. Oh, let's see. That good. So fast it couldn't be recorded on video. Could not record footage of it. That fast. That's impressive. Mm, do I want to be cursed? Yes. I'm slightly cursed. Aw, oh, jeez, my money disappears faster. That sucks. But I got an Apex Sphere. Anyways, how y'all doing? Uh, also, if anyone doesn't already follow Lakoa, definitely drop Lakoa a follow. Lakoa's really, uh, really good streamer, really good energy, really fun. And yeah, plays, plays lots of different types of games. We definitely have some overlap, but there's also, you know, Lakoa definitely plays some stuff that is. A little outside my wheelhouse. Yeah. Question. Do you want to be cursed? That's not even a question. Yes, I know. I got cursed. Just a little as a treat. Um, and yeah. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know me, I'm Code. I was by Katie or Cat. She, they pronouns. I'm a variety bodega cat VTuber. He usually streams three games a night, four nights a week. Always around streaming something. And tonight we're streaming Resident Evil 7, and we're currently streaming Returnal. Uh, all part of our Halloween lineup. Yeah, cat. You're a cat? Yes. Hmm. What do we got? Is that our key that we need? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh what do we got? What's oh, that wolf? Hey, that's fair. Oh, rare drop. Hell yeah. Well, you'll just have to give me a moment. <laughs> Aww. Mm. Mm. I'm like a megafauna cat, though, so I could see wolf. That makes sense. Wait, there's a gotcha? Yep. Uh, Alright, I will just be two seconds while I... Oh. That is, that is a solid two candies. I will be right back. <laughs> uh, uh, so I just got to... I gotta change my hat. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Yeah. There we go. I know I have to remove my Halloween outfit to put it on, but you know. There we go. But it's a good hat, so you know. 
We have three actually. One is the costume and hats. Uh, then we have two candy rollers. Yes, we have my old one which rolls branded candies, and then we have the new one which rolls uh, some rolls a random amount of candies. And uh, there might be a thing at the end of the month for taking a guess at how many candies have been rolled. But also, if you roll over five, I'll put on a hat. Thirty. It's more than thirty. It was more than thirty day one. <laughs> Clearly. Also, fantasy. How you doing? Welcome. I'm mispronouncing your name. Feel free to correct me. So I guess I'll just jump down this pit. Oop. Do I want to be down here? Oh shit! This is probably the boss just occurred to me. The boss is a wiggly boy. Oh. Oh, that was a little spicy. second time fighting this boss, so... You know what? Probably a good idea to use this. Oh, okay. That's one bar down. Where is he going up? Thank you, thank you, homing shots. Oh, uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, oh shit. Just going in for that melee. Yo. The spicy. Oh. I think I could shoot off its arms or something. Oh shit, I landed right in it. Whoa, that's really close. There. Okay, last, last bar. Oh. Oh. Great. both ways. That's actually what killed me the first time I fought this boss. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I dashed too early. I like this boss. I do too, actually. Uh, I think that's, yeah, I think that's, uh, Thyke. Uh, oh, I'm doing them. Oh, very good. Oh, thank you again, Lakoa. Thank you for the raid. Oh, 
Oh. Hmm. I'm gonna fade item in the cargo bay removal. Recommend it. Cargo bay, huh? Static. Here. A little static. All right. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Mm, this is an ordery. Get away from here as soon as fuck. Uh, Ellie, how you doing? Astronaut nap. Oh, featuring astronaut. Sleepy. This isn't the cargo bay. I assume this is a cargo bay. Oh, cool button. Press X. Let me try this other suit out, I suppose. This one looks pretty cool. Alright, let's get out of here. King hit reduces all fire cooldown by five seconds. Okay. is all malfunctions. That sounds really good. I'm just gonna save that for now. Hmm. Bridge, huh? Oh. 
plant house. I don't know. There's probably a more correct term. A garden, perhaps. Fixes or prevents one malfunction, detaches afterwards. Uh, more severe effects. I don't like the idea of malfunctions being harder to, like, fix. Plant house is accurate. <laughs> oh, he stepped on that one. where the plants live. Are we just like, is this just like a million parasites? Oh. That sounds really good. I'll take that. Just gonna stick these to our side as one does. Dropping auto lights last two seconds longer. Suffer damage when using keys. Sure. Mm, parasites don't have a curable thing, do they? The loose consumables on use. That sounds really good. Le uh, I'll take that. Look at them all. Look at all these babies. Uh. We did it! We got an achievement! Irreversibly contaminated! Oh, jeez. Well, we made friends! Big parasite run. The term greenhouse is actually uh, is basically the same thing, but less informative. I'm gonna just collect these now because I have an answer. It's fine. It's fine. Because I can just go like this. There we go. Easy. Kickwalk. Ah, uh, Layden, how you doing? Oh, thank you. Hmm. So, anyways, I'm covered in friends now. We become squirmly tentacle buddy. Yeah, uh, we made friends with the friends. This is a different look room. I guess I don't need that. Oh, these lasers are so slow. I'm gonna accidentally land on them and get hurt. But ah. <laughs> oh, faster lasers. But only like just faster. Got a keys, so that's nice. Okay. As I was gonna say, did something spawn? Oh. Oh, right. Things leave pools of acid now. Acid is purple, if y'all didn't know that. I guess this works. 
Oh, another plant house. Wait, this gun has ricochet on it, doesn't it? I think it does. Maybe. Never mind, I don't think it does. I give up. I mean, I'd be a fool not to. No. Ooh. More dash cooldown. I have to kill 30 enemies. Oh my god, that's so many enemies. I mean, how many tentacle buddies you got there? Um, all of them. <laughs> Five, I guess. salvage from hostiles suffer damage how often do I fall six this is covered with squirmy boys this is what happens if you let me go outside Without, without my flea and tick pill. <laughs> um, yes. It's better than what we got. Just by a little bit. Oh. up and shot it. We just went up and knifed it. I didn't think that would work, actually. I'm actually shocked that worked. <laughs> just have to remember that. It's just a worse gun. Grab a key, use a shield for the next hit, and that makes sense. More more letters. Let's learn the alphabet. There's ten letters in the alphabet. Boy, that'd actually be really hard to deal with. It'd be like less letters, but you'd have to have like more uses for them or something. I don't know. Someone that knows alphabets would probably like like, Xeno would probably understand that, how that would work. I don't know if it would be, like, what do y'all think? Would it be more confusing to have an alphabet with a lot of letters or, like, less letters? Hmm. It was a language that only uses a handful of letters and mostly works. What, there's like 14 Havwain? Havwain? Right? Or rather 14 sounds? I don't know. They use letters to write. Let's see. I guess I don't really. Hawaiian uh, has very few. Uh, Interesting. Is it a hard language to learn? More is harder to remember, fewer is easier to learn, but makes less express uh, makes it less expressive. Okay. Interesting. I guess it makes sense.
Yeah, I guess more would be harder to learn, because it's just more, right? Let's try out this way. Not a huge fan of that. That was a little rough. so much money this run. by Manta Ray. Damn it. Hmm. In Hawaiian, there's no distinct G or K sounds, which is unusual for languages. Oh my, my ether is gone. That's a shame. Oh. Yo, thank you for the follow. I think the little bit of, like, motion sickness I'm fighting in Resident Evil is, like, something that, like, is kind of draining me a lot harder than I'm anticipating. I'm really, really enjoying Returnal, but admittedly, I guess this game is also quite intense, too, in its own way. It's not necessarily making me motion sick, but... You could have, a uh, Futural Written Language. Oh. Uh. Uh, how y'all doing? Welcome. Welcome. How is everyone? Yo, Fire, what you up to? What you playing? So what were you saying? What were you saying? Uh, half a cat. Uh... Brain system like Hangul, which before it underwent sound changes. Oh? Fire, how's this going? Oh my god, everybody's... All the candy's being rolled. Just three. <laughs> and apparently Oompas! I don't know what Oompas are, but that's that's a thing. 
Blob, how you been? What you up to? Fire, what were you playing? How y'all doing? Welcome. Oh my god, Nico Arcs. They're spawning in. <laughs> oh god. Nico Arcs right in my face. God. Bird up. How y'all doing? Welcome. Uh, Tara. How's things going? Mm. Actually, I'll just be one second. Hero, how's this going? Evie, what's up? Mm. He's been banished to the Shadow Realm. No. Not today, at least. Uh, which I'm liking a lot. Oh, wait. I was trying to play D2 uh, for the Dreamcast, but uh, I died. And I found out that none of my saves were saving, apparently. Oh, that sucks. And I couldn't skip cutscenes to get back to where I was, so I gave up on that for now. Ah, fair. Sometimes it's better just to put it in the box, you know? I will probably go back next week, but in the meantime, I've played some more Sonic Frontiers DLC. How's, how's the DLC been? Which I'm liking a lot, even if it's for Sickos. Fair. Yeah. Also, I saw that white. I saw that. Yeah. Also, hey, Samurai. Oh. oh how y'all doing? Welcome, everyone. Had, uh, had to dig... Uh, dirt this week and my drawing rhythm got interrupted and I got a rush. Ah. Uh, good to see you though. Aw. It's good to see you, hero. Aww. Well, uh, good luck with the drawing stuff, okay? Yeah, but also, yeah, for anyone who doesn't already follow Fire, definitely drop Fire. Follow Fire is amazing. Excellent streamer and uh, yeah. yeah. I gotta check out the Sonic Frontiers DLC. It, Sounds interesting. I'm like, it's for sickos, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, and for anyone who doesn't already know me, I'm Code, I spell Katie or Cat, she their pronouns, I'm a variety but they cat VTuber who usually streams three games a night, four nights a week. So I'm usually always around streaming something. And tonight we were streaming Resident Evil 7, I almost threw up, and now we're playing Returnal. And I am feeling less like throwing up, but also still a little bit like throwing up. Just a little bit as a treat. Monty, how's this going? Mm. Yeah, motion sickness. It's kind of funny because third person games usually don't give me motion sickness, but I think it's just because I'm chasing Resident Evil 7, which is making me kind of... Well, kind of... It's... I'm feeling motion sick from Resident Evil 7, and it's kind of carrying over into this game because, as you can kind of tell, the movement of the camera is very, like, fast in this game, which is good, which is normally a really good thing. Resident Evil 3 Remake get you pretty motion sick too. That is true. I think this is the boss room. I wonder if I can just straight up go up there. Just poke that thing in the eye. Oh. Oh, that was a little close. Pretty good, actually. Yeah. Floppable, how's this going? 
On the scale of one to Donkey Kong Country. Oh yeah, Donkey Kong Country also got me. That was a weird one. Because you're sweeping the camera around. Yeah, I think that's the problem is when I sweep the camera around too much, it like gets to me. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, I see. Uh oh, let's be careful. Avenge. Uh oh. 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 Ow. Fuck. Oh, well, okay. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, shit. I had like a ground flare. Well, now we know. I gotta be more mindful about like the different things that they can have. By the time I realized what it had, it was like a little too late, I guess. I should have jumped. To be fair, I just started that run, so it's not like it's a huge loss. Yeah, we got this. Uh, but thank you again, Fire. Thank you for the raid. It's good seeing y'all. Grab all that stuff. Hmm. Grab all that good stuff. The key is to now. But anyway, so yeah, Returnal is pretty good. <laughs> I can use this a couple bullets. I haven't tried that. I think I should try. Mm, doesn't look it. run when I had a million parasites and a million dollars. Mm, good memories. Gifts. Oh. It's a plant house where the plants live and the parasites roam free. Uh, yeah, sure. I very rarely remember I have an alt fire, so that's probably a good thing. That seems really... That sounds like a good idea. That said, money disappearing faster probably isn't particularly good. Should make to eat after the stream. But yeah, anyways, so let's see what else is new lately. I'm trying to think. I guess I'll probably check out the Sonic Frontiers DLC probably sometime in November, I guess. I was gonna say March. Ugh. March, that's definitely the month that comes after October, right? Yeah, we're a little cursed. Ugh, kill 10 enemies, that's easy. Oh, negative 50 weapon, negative 50% weapon damage while in the air. Oh, I just gotta remember no jumping and shooting. It's fascinating stuff. 
Oh, very good. Let's go back this way, because I'm curious what this... Oh, I have to open a container. Interesting. Oh. Plant. Just blew that guy up. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a busy room. Uh-oh. It's a busy room with big enemies. Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, why does it have a shield? That's not... okay. Oh, it fell down. Wow, we just fucking... vaporized it. Huh. Oh, I guess that, that's my decision. No decision. I think we succeeded. Ah, crap. Uh, open the chest quick. There we go. Uh, this is what I'm using now. Jeez. Oh, God. Okay, we're still alive somehow, so that's good. I don't know what that parasite is. I probably shouldn't pick it up. Okay, where is the thing we were fighting? There it is. So how y'all doing? <laughs> if I hear an Xmas song before Halloween, yes, we skip to March. Bef bring forth the Shamrock Shakes. Oh. Oh my god, homing missile saved my butt there. I really do not know what I thought of it at first, uh, because it feels kind of like rough edges, even in comparison to the base game. But it's ended up being really fun. Gotcha. Okay. I think I kind of know where you may be coming from with it. Hey, sometimes sometimes that's the thing, right? It pushes the game harder, and even though it's maybe less polished, it's more enjoyable because of that. It was more powerful melee attacks, and breaks yellow barriers. Yellow barriers. Okay, well, at least I'm at full health. Mm, resin. A bit more max health. We got a parasite down here. Greatly increases max integrity. Reduces proficiency rate by 
Eh, sure, let's try it. Oh my god, that's a lot of health. So, we're not going to be as good at leveling up our weapons, but we're going to live longer. Which means we'll get more experience for the weapons we're trying to level up, so it makes sense. Let's see what's going on with this. They're using the sword, they were using the sword, they used a gun, and then they died. Ah! exploded. Hmm. Hmm, that thing that turns bullets into money. Technically, if they're helping you, there's symbiotes. Symbiotes have mutual benefit, mutually beneficial relationship while parasites only harm the host. I mean, they benefit me, but they also harm me in unique ways. Unique and fun ways. Does the sword just make it easier to deal with those? Um, if you shoot them, they shoot back at you at almost the exact same speed and rate. So it's actually kind of really scary to shoot one of those because you just you immediately have to dodge the return fire and it's like not a good time. So I have uh, I've decided that shooting them is not a good idea. Symbiotes. Yeah. Beotes. Yo, Mission of Sin, how's this going? We do not need bee oats. What? You've always wanted bees. It's something she says all the time to me. She's like, I want the bees. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Mission of Sin, what you up to? Uh, the Savvy. How you doing? Welcome. Mispronouncing name, feel free to correct me. How you doing? I'm doing good. We're on an alien planet, and I am. I don't know what I'm doing here, actually. I'm trying to leave. And I keep finding friends, these wiggly boys. Look at them. Beef. Hey, Pipper. How you doing? You feeling a little bit better? Yeah. Yeah, White well, wants to become a beekeeper. Keeper of the bees. Just finish up modding GTA SA playthrough. Sandy tired eyes, so uh, fair. Look at this wiggly boy. This wiggly boy doesn't really do much for us at all, but it does let us dash. Which is, I guess, a good thing. It, it did bring us up here. Yo! That is, that is three candies. Hmm. I mine real bees, but I do like bee Minecraft mods. Is there no official bees in Minecraft? What's going on here? Oh, it's one of these. Oh my god, room full of gold boys. Oh, there's so many. <coughs> Pardon me. Mm, mystery item. 
Detach all detaches all parasites. But I like my parasites. Gonna lurk. I really need to have a rest. Absolutely, Bishop said. You have a good rest, okay? <sighs> have a bad cough recently since I did get sick last week. Ah, gotcha. Well, make sure you get lots of rest, okay? The fish ones do make resources, though. They make honey. Um, honey and wax, obviously, but higher tiers did diamonds, gold, and iron. Mm, diamond bees. Alright. Alright, Michelson, you have a great night, okay? What is this thing? Increases protection by 10%. That sounds really good. Oh, it's a hug for my hand. Mm. Okay, well, that's something. Oh, someone will have to eyeball that for me. Oh, it's Mises hat. I should have saved that. Adrenaline level four. Uh oh. I don't think I want to be in that. Uh oh. Oh dear. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Oh. Money! Uh, that was a good idea, but also it could still kill me. Ah, oh, jeez. I'd say it looks like we have ricochet though, so that's a good sign. A lot of cash. Okay, so it's just down to this guy now. There. Oh, he fell down. Nice. Uh, better gun. I guess it didn't have ricocheting. You gotta get some sleep? Alright, paper, what's the sound? Mm. You go get some rest, okay? Mm. Keely Majig. I guess this is technically a better gun. Alright, where's Mises' hat? Which is gonna look really weird on Midna's hat, but... I'm like, this is how this is how rollers work sometimes. Yeah. Um... I think Mises uh, graduated now. Oh yeah, it looks... <laughs> just some extra ears for my, for my helmet. Hmm. Uh. Oh, there's a lot of them. Let's back it up. You know, one thing that really, like, makes a huge difference in this game is the fact that the enemies stun. God damn. I can see a lesser developer making that mistake. I guess I could take that. Yeah, I probably should have. Well, proficiency level 2. So, I guess that still counts for something. Yeah. Ryu Pichu, how you doing? What you up to? 
I'm a redstone engineer. I use honey blocks a lot for flying machines. Uh, what about honey blocks makes things fly? That's a weird question to ask. I don't know. I don't know that much about Minecraft, so... I think it's neat. I just, I just don't know much about it. I mean, I'd be silly not to pick up this maligned key. I'm cursed now. So anyways... Let's... Whoa. That's almost a spill. Minecraft blocks don't fall. Oh, does honey not, like, fall? Mm. I found a shop. I do have a lot of money, so... Could have an astronaut. Generate energy blasts. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. I could exchange my ob lights for some ether. Five ether, which is pretty good. I'll have to think on that. No, no sword. I'm trying to read. Oh, that doesn't sound anything like me. I'm like, did those words come from my mouth? Mm -mm, doesn't sound right. Like this plan has changed me fundamentally as a person. That. I'm getting much better at fighting those, which is good. You know, I was just, I suddenly had a moment and I'm like, you know, I was playing another third person shooter earlier this year. What game was it? I completely forgot about Exoprimals for a hot second. It's probably a good game. Like, that game was probably, like, like, I had the lowest expectations for it, but ended up performing, like, the best, like, the biggest difference between my expectations and how it actually was. Okay, better gun. I still have an enemy up here. You <laughs> no, reversed it, I did. Or max health. Hmm, lock Wait, I have a key. Sure. Oh. This room looks cursed. Wait, is there... Oh, there's a chest there. I don't know how to open those doors yet, though. What is this? Because I have to drop down here. Hmm. Oh. And the game is just like, what if I just fucking die? Oh, much better gun. Oh, fixes all malfunctions. That's a really good item. Alright, what do we got down here? Oh. 
really big chests. Oh. Chest full of enemies. Okay. If I just didn't exactly <laughs> we're still dialing in what the settings should be for my computer for this little oh. oh it just pissed money Who the hell's that? Ugh. Whoa. Ooh. Uh, frames. Ah! That may have gotten me. I may have taken a spill because of that. to fix things or make it better. It'll drop our particle quality down. Lower it. This game is, has a lot of particles. Oh. Hydrate. Thank you. Sure. Ah, okay, we got an item over here. Hmm. Max our level. Wait, why can't we use it? Oh, I'm already level 5. Oh, well, okay then. In that case, I guess it doesn't matter. I've been leveled up, that's good. Unknown artifact. It's a little pyramid. Uh, oblates last longer. That's amazing. Which is great, because oblates don't last very long. That's why typically when I kill an enemy, I rush right in immediately because they fade away super fast in this.
Oh. I guess it kind of worked out, kind of. This game is really good, but boy, it's really dense by moments. It's just like there's so much. extra money. 20 enemies spawn in. Yeah, we bit. <laughs> there's a lot. Some. There's a lot by moments. But it's good. Realistically, nothing has that much health, which I think also kind of helps. Oh. What's this? Yeah, fabricate me whatever one of these is. Oh, melee kills generate enter. Yeah, sure. I guess. Why not? Oh, melee kills generate two energy bolts that hit the two nearest hostiles. So it's just like. I mean. That's pretty cool, but also, like, I'm mostly shooting my gun at things. Particularly the boss, when I find it. So... Uh, there's little, like, electric sparks that come off of it now. Ugh. Okay, so if I warp... Yeah, we need to warp out of here. Oh god, there's like a million rooms up here I missed. I just went... I just went down one path and I never turned around, never looked around at all. Didn't even consider my options. Oh, what the hell is this room? Oh. That's right, too. This is one of those rooms that requires the ether, and you can build a guy or something. I don't know. There's a shape. Cool coffin. Let's go. Whoa. What is that? Uh oh. That uh oh, that's a trouble thing. Oh jeez. Okay. Great. Okay, I don't think I have ricochet.
Ow. Oh, boy. There. Oh. Let's pick up those bits. Um, It's a better gun. Hmm, I'm still on the thing that nullifies uh, malfunctions, but I haven't really had any malfunctions yet. We got a parasite. What's a parasite do? Gain shield against the next three hits, detaches afterwards. Triggers two malfunctions on detach. Okay, parasite shield. Yeah, make friend. That's what I did. Money. I'll just make a mental note that there's a thing for curing malfunctions in this room here. Everybody remember that, okay? So I will run over here and go around the corner and I don't know. I go the wrong way, apparently. It's what we're rude wolfer. Where's a door? Help. And make, turn the brightness up just a tiny bit. That would help. It's always a little bit weird because like everything's a little bit like darker on stream than it is off stream. more damage. All right. This is a relatively easy malfunction to cure. Oh, overload projectiles. It's really tempting, but I'm not very good at overloading correctly, so I don't, I guess maybe I won't. Look at all my friends, look at them all. Look at all these wiggly boys. So many. So much stuff here. Oh. I want to detach all parasites. Parasites are good. They're my friends. All right. Let's try revenge. Wait, Where? Whoa! Fuck! Get the high ground here. Okay, this thing does have... It returns fire. Very careful about that. I 
I just figured it'd appreciate a random ass grenade. Oh, we're getting some frames again. Hmm. I will get a I will get a setting that works here. It's just a matter of time. This ain't it. Mm, oh. So for damage when collecting items, so that's not good. Shit. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Oh, level six. That's pretty good. Right. And Nintendo 64 frames there for a second. Yeah, which is weird because it doesn't feel like... It's strange because the frame rate doesn't feel like... It's dropping, but it doesn't feel like it's consistently dropping for the same reasons. Because it was like one enemy in the room. I fought like... I fought that exact enemy with a whole bunch of other things in the room too. And had it like drop frames worse obs isn't dropping frames either so i mean that's like a good sign friend had issues with this game and his computer is solid yeah so it might be just like an issue with maybe the port to some degree i don't know what i could do let me see uh maybe the loading areas yeah i don't know i wasn't near what i would consider probably a loading gate I'd assume, but our loading zone. Um, fix stutters. Yeah, just like read this a little bit. Don't forget you have an item left behind, right? So I don't get too corrupted. Oh shit, what was, what was that? I didn't actually see it. I looked away for two seconds. A sneeze. Uh, I was sneezing. Also, didn't notice the item. <laughs> Made a mental note. Remember? Yes. Steam overlay. I need disable steam overlay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think of where I do that. if that helps one second it was literally nothing all right well we'll roll it again just give me two seconds 
It's Jones, and the image is really large. I'll have to shrink that down. Or it's vampire. It's like blood. It's blood flavor. Congratulations. I hope you desire blood flavor drink. Okay. So, let me see. That doesn't seem like it's helped that much. All right, we do have a door down this way, though. Check it out. The gun's pretty high low. Bonus area. Oh. Oh, I have to scan it. Oh, right, it's an item. Yeah, we should probably get rid of these. These are these are kind of bad malfunctions. Killing ten things isn't like gonna take a long time, but I am taking damage with every item I touch, which is not good. I also had a spot here where I could spend some spend some ether and I could make a guy or something. I've never had enough ether. Oh, I think it's this room, maybe. Reconstructor. But what about? Yeah, it was like this room here. That's just candy. This is why you floss. Mm, candy floss, huh? Okay, just in case this guy like gives me an item just so it doesn't hurt me, let's get rid of these malfunctions. Which I think is in this room over here. Yeah, okay. There. Move those. Grab that. Okay. Get a little health back and let's fabricate some guy. Let's do it. This this guy needs to be fabricated. We gotta like put Play-Doh in and like push it out and it'll make a guy or something. I don't know. Yeah. Conducting field test. Oh, shit. Don't do that. But for what purpose? Hmm. Yeah. We'll make your favorite guy, maybe. What did it do? Already powered. Weird. Huh. Okay, well, I guess it's the thing we made. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if we can get up there. Oh, what we got? Yo, it's the mask thing the white made. Mm. It's the fox mask. Here. Actually, it's probably about time I switch outfits too. Hive, how you doing? How did how did your meeting go? Uh, we'll go back to Halloween and where is it there it is there we go 
Mm. Maybe tonight we'll play Forza, or maybe tonight we'll play Returnal on a controller this time. Yeah, I like it. I like it on a uh, controller. Oh yeah, I forgot. Completely forgot about this brain. It was under the midnight helmet this whole time. I had a helmet protecting my smooth brain. There we go. Didn't get a chance to, so I'm going to have to ask my uh, manager's manager on Monday. Okay, well, that's fair. See, but getting me access to stuff I need to do work. Yeah, gosh. Hmm. Also, Grizzled, how you doing? Yeah. All right. Okay, so. Oh, the game sound is out. What happened to it? Why did the game sound get muted? <laughs> Great. Guess I could probably just like suspend, suspend and exit. Maybe it's a good idea anyways, just because it seems like Returnal, it seems like at a certain point, like it almost needs to be like restarted. Apparently we're at 23% in Returnal, so if we got a few achievements tonight. Uh, been good. Next, wondering what I should play next. Oh, what's your choices? I'll help. Yeah, just one sec. This is gonna be one moment. Yeah. All right. I'm back. Oh god, see like I have the exact same si I'm in the exact same situation hive. I like moving I like movement on controller, but I like aiming on um on mouse too. So uh unfortunately not that many games support doing both those things. It tends to alternate between uh mouse and keyboard and controller. I don't know if this game does though. I could check that. Hmm. Oh. Oh. I always get crispy. Um, yes, it actually doesn't it doesn't make you pick one or the other. It does both. You could you could in fact set it up so that you could Yep. Yeah. You could do it this way if you want. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, actually, that's awesome. I don't know if I'll do it, but but it's a good option that's there. I think that's like one of those things that I've been, I've pointed this out to a few like devs recently. They're like over the course of this year. Uh, what's dash bound to? Uh, dash is bound to. I'm trying to think of what button. Uh, that. Uh, I'd probably have to like pick a button on the mouse to bind it. I don't think it would be too bad for, like, binding it, though. You just go under this and just go under mouse. Uh, mouse and keyboard. A combat. Yeah. And just, like, bind sprint to sprint to it instead. Yeah. Oh, play Signalist. Wait, wait. I'm thinking about playing Signalist. Signalist is super good. I haven't played Ghost Song, but I've I've seen it, and it looks interesting. Oh, both could be good options. If you play Ghost Song, you could be like, yeah, Ghost Song's really good, you should play it. But also, if you play Signalus, I really like Signalus. It was between it and uh, Heart Space Shipbreaker last year for my game of the year. So, I like it a lot. Um, where the hell am I going? Do I have health? I do have health. Um, I could... I could go up to the boss. I don't think there's any more rooms I can really go to. Yeah, there's just like the one room, but I can't reach it. I'm gonna go with Signalis. Yeah, definitely. I'm good at picking things. It's basically all I do. Yeah. 
All right. Also, is this game too loud? Is it like, is it like really loud? Oh, I got a little bit curse. Hmm. I wish you could have both these things. Hmm. I have to collect so many. Okay, well, that, that worked, dude. That's fine. All right. Perfect audio. This game too loud. Pretty much, I know. Right? Uh, I mean, our weapon is pretty good right now. I don't think I have to worry about that. The other one... Mm, no. This is pretty good. So let me take a look at its abilities. Uh, Harden. Increased protection. Parts faster and longer when trigger is held. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, let's let's go for it. Let's fight this boss. No, I haven't played six hours of Returnal. I've played uh, played four and a half of Resident Evil Seven and like two of uh, two or three of uh, Returnal. I was actually expecting those to do something else. Oh, money. Woo! <laughs> that was really, really close. Those homing shots are so good. That didn't stop those, it's unfortunate. Oh, oh, oh shit, made that hit. Like, I just figured out when I get my ultimate shot back. This is pretty late in the game to realize that, but... Give me this time, that's right. This is the time I'll succeed. Whoa, oh jeez. Gotcha. Yeah. We did it. And the energy signature is gone. 
Yeah. Chichen, how you doing? So I don't get into the Halloween candy before Halloween. Crimson Key. I think the powers of Crimson Gate. Yes, we did it. Acquired a new kind of unlocking mechanism. I will call it a key. Interface with a different kind of translocation device. Oh. <gasps> Cuba. Cuba Vola. Uh. Unfed pod, data cube. Hmm. Okay, can only carry one at a time. What's this thing? There's many things in this room. safe to approach. Uh, removes a parasite and I get paid. Mm. None of these, I, I don't want to remove any of these. <laughs> they're, they're all really good. Jester, how you doing? Can I give Code Candy? Yes. Give. Yeah. Go cube. Oh, good. Oh, what's this? Egg. <gasps> Made an egg. Oh my gosh, that's... Uh, that's five candies. That means you get an item roll. Uh... That means you get, means you get a gotcha roll. What's it gonna be? It's a lemon! Uh, yep, that's right. When life gives you lemons. Eat lemons. The lemon life is giving me right now is that I cannot find the lemons. Lemon. There's a couple of candies with Easter egg patterns on to on them. Oh. Can't believe Easter would find its way into our Halloween candy. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's a spiky boy. Unfed pod. Grant 20% stagger power for each attached parasite. Are you serious? That's so strong. That's like 60% more stagger power. We're gonna be monstrous. Let's get out of here. That's so good. That is so good. Did I just miss that door? I missed that door. Make orange juice. And leave life wondering how you did it. Mm. Makes sense. I like that. Oh, is it a stock? Gotcha. Yeah, I just have to give it time then. More. Oh. Okay. This way. that tower. There we go. Ow. Look at this dog. Look at a trot. Oh, oh, fuck. Just 
trotting up. Yeah, Wicked, how you doing? What are you up to? What is this? Oh, either. Very good. Uh, he stole the candy. God, oh. Oh, full health again. I am the okay, gotcha. How's things been? What you been up to? Like, what you been playing? You've been playing uh, Cyberpunk, right? Oh, we got. Oh. Big doggo. Oh, shit. Little doggo. Wow, our stagger is so high right now. Look at them all. They're all just falling over. something up there. Uh, I'm cow tipping. Oh my god. Almost immediately too. Increase proficiency rate by 20%. Upcoming malfunction is more severe. I'll take that. So that negates the negative 20% that we had earlier. Cyberpunk, plenty of it. It's been good then. Uh -huh. Still have more stuff out this way. Oh. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, it's another one of these tower things. Oh. oh, that's not good. Just. Okay, we gotta go. Get rid of that. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Whoa. Taking three shots. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, big boy. Ah. Oh my god, this is a dangerous room. We gotta be very careful what we're doing. Oh my god. Oh jeez. They keep hitting me with the stuff that makes us sticks us to the ground, but it's like just at the perfect time that it's fucking me up. Go. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Around the fucking corner. Ah, fuck. Uh, this is like bad. Probably didn't need that, but it's what I got. Ugh. Okay. Keep moving, because Green Boy will find us. Oh fuck! Wow! Just knocked us the fuck out. Oh. Oh, it brought us back from the dead. Would you recommend this game? Yes. Uh. This device prevented me from returning to the ship. Reconstructor. Damn. That room fucked us up hard. Uh is very good, although I have to admit, I don't know how well it is like optimized optimized for PC. 
it does like seem to have like problems here and there, but at the same time, it is very good. I like it a lot. Um, we were way out this way, weren't we? So we need to we need to find a warp warp room. And it's very heavy on PC. Yeah. I kind of want to go back there and get my revengeance, but at the same time, like, I kind of also want to get my key. Which room was it in? I guess this one here. Alright. Yeah, uh... Oh god, don't tell me it's gonna spawn all three enemies in again. Nope. Okay. There we go. It's a revive machine, has to be reactivated again before you can use again. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, that works out, that makes sense. Mm. Orb. Well, that seems like a good thing to fabricate. Let's get this. Okay, so we just got a little extra defense. That's great. You could always use a little bit more defense. Oh, it's your room. There we go, malfunction fixed. What's this? Random item. Only 75. Kind of a steal, really. Oh, hell yeah. Give me it. What is this thing? Oh, it's an artifact. It looks like a mag from PSO. Grants 10% weapon damage while you have a malfunction. I'm off the malfunctioning. That's perfect. I'm not malfunctioning right now, though. For some reason. Money pit. Like, surely this isn't a trap. Oh shit! Did they fuck that? So anyways, that was a little close. Turns out it's this thing we gotta watch out for. Shoot in the eye, then get the money. More max health. This is a place we can't proceed from. Mm -mm. I thought it was doing something for some reason. Okay, let's get out of here. could go back to this room here and check out those other two doorways. Oh, there's like nothing here. 
Oh, there's another side room. Oh, chest. Use a key, open the chest. Hell yeah, it's whatever this thing is. Hostiles have, have injured you, drop 50% more, oblite when killed. It's an interesting ability. I'm often injured, so this is perfect. What the purple diamond shape is. I guess I can probably find out. Uh. Oh. Yeah, don't want to miss that. Okay, so that's what ether looks like on the map. Alright, what's in here? This definitely looks like a bad place to be. Oh, that's really, really good. We definitely want that. So we need less, like... This basically what this does is it's like, if you need it four heart pieces to make a more max health, like in Zelda, make a full heart piece. This makes it so you'd only need like three. Except in this case it's two instead of three. I tried reading with my sword. Red eyes beholding in the longing dark sunlight as it rains like pitch. I must leave for the wastes where our visions have promised a new kind of transcendence. Glory, glory, glory. Okay, so at this point, where do we want to go? Fabricator. This is a shop, isn't it? I could go to the shop, see if there's anything I want to buy, and then like, then we'll go uh, check out the next area. I can I can hang hang on. I don't really need that. Okay. I think that's just about everything. So I guess we will just head back this way. We get to see what's in the next area finally. I mean, realistically, that didn't take too long. It was only my third attempt at that boss. That's pretty close in all three attempts. Oh. Stargate. I'll need to explore the other side. I've passed through the teleportation gate. Based on the coordinates of the broadcast signal, I'm on the other side of the planet. Hmm. What's this? Additional consumable slot. Oh, that's nice. <gasps> I just said that earlier. It's like, it'd be nice to be able to hold a second item. Efficiency level five. 
Hmm. So database equipment. So our next our next big unlocks are I guess uh, proficiency level uh, fifteen. And we'll probably see some new weapons in this area. Oh, it's dusty and red out here. I'm in a sprawling desert now, detecting another strange energy from a mountain summit, ascending towards destination. Beginning ascent of the mountain. I don't know which attempt this is. Despite knowing the hazards ahead, I'm having difficulty retrieving the technology. There are certain obstacles I don't look forward to re-experiencing. But I feel as though something at the top is summoning me. Uh, sounds like trouble. Falls cause damage. Really kills a uh, repair. Yeah, that's a good one to have. That wasn't important. Okay. So that's a key. Apparently there's something on top of that pillar. I don't know how we get up there. Uh, this area looks like it's going to be really different. Oh yeah, it's like these are big, big rooms. Okay. It's going to be way different than the previous area. Doesn't look like there's anything really here, though. It's a big place, but it's pretty empty. How far away can you get out of the map? There you go. Oh, the actual next destination doesn't look that far away, though. I mean, physically. Mm, don't know. Oh, okay, so they are individual rooms, but they're made to look like they aren't. It's a body! Hooray! Another curse. Oh, ooh, reduce repair efficiency. That's not good. Oh, we have two of them now. They can stack. That's actually really good to know. Oh, they're 
cubes. Cubie boys. I love when the cubes fly down and scream at me. Great. This is the Nintendo GameCube now, and does it make you feel old? There's one. I gotta kill these things with my knife. But if I can. Okay, wow. I'm amazed my computer can handle these things exploding, because that's a lot of that's a lot of cute bits. here. Fine. Uh, burst fire. I mean, it would be working on, a, be working on, this is so much damage up though. Bonus damage. Yeah, it's hard to say no to bonus damage. Money block. Oh yeah, you can just go right out into the desert. Okay, it gets kind of sandy if you start going out too far. Looks like we have a word block over here. This game goes hard, it does. Okay. Our brother, the Exalted One, reported it as inoperable. Climb to the throne at the mountaintop. Its scythe strikes down the creator destroyer, the pillars from deep below. Okay, so that's like. I guess they're talking about the next boss, probably. Oh. Oh. Ow, fuck. Mm hmm. Hmm. Extracts a parasite. I like my parasites. All my parasites are good, pretty much. Is there, like, any parasite here I would not want? Nope. They're all good. They're all good beans. Kind of amusing seeing people being upset it didn't have ray trace on PS5. That's a 1080p game, but like it does so much with the particles and stuff. Yeah, uh, Harunda, how you doing? Yeah, hi hi. My cubes, huh? Yeah, I mean, like, the particles in this game are insane. There's so many of them, they're everywhere. It's... Whoa. Which, I mean, like, honestly, it's not a huge deal to me or anything, but it is, like, it is just kind of impressive just to see, you know? Kind of like fireworks.
doing a bit of writing game back in uh, back to my Opus Magno. Oh, gotcha. I see, I see you doing some writing. That's good. Okay, that hurt. Very good. Mm, high caliber. Slightly less damage, but we get an overheat limit, better overheat limit. Eh. How are you feeling now that you're not in Resident Evil 7? Uh, pretty good. Like I said, this game does by moments still kind of cause a little bit of motion sickness, but not very much by comparison to Resident Evil. Letter. One of 20. Oh. A big area, then. Okay, so we have two directions we can go. Should I really go towards that thing? Wiggling seductively at me. Well, oh, oh! I guess it's made it's made my choice for me. fellow hammer octopus I saw that whoa shit what the fuck uh, ow fuck what the hell's hitting me mm -mm. rapid spewer stagger power mm. I don't know this one has so much damage on it it's hard not to take it saying they hit you with the energy ring you didn't see in the second thing I don't know <laughs> okay fair series are really big too oh my god is that another one no nah, it's just a dog oh they're bigger though oh dogs are bigger here those malfunctions. Oh. Okay, so it's bigger dogs. Okay, we're healed up. It's good to know that we can also store multiple of the same item. being too hard for me but I will extract as much fun of it as I can you got it you got this hive don't forget like as you play the game like you're getting more things and the game becomes a little bit easier hmm. it's definitely definitely like I will say like this particular run feels kind of I don't want to say lucky, but kind of lucky. Yeah, it has some, like, I definitely feel like, cause, okay, so like the thing with this game is, is like, as you shoot more things, as you level up your guns, your guns like don't de-level per run. So like the next run, your guns are still like kind of, you have the extra abilities on them, right? And so it gives you a little bit of an edge. Yeah. So, it, yeah, so like you do kind of, your guns do get like better the more you use them. Uh, 
This is weird. And like that. <laughs> cool. But also there's like I uh, at the beginning of each run there's like an item that you can potentially unlock, which kind of, you know, gives you more stuff too. Gives you more items in your pool of things that might be helpful. It's debatable if it's going to be a helpful item or not, but you know. Yeah, did you know this game uh, first got its Steam page that said it needed 32 gigabytes of RAM? Seriously? Oh, jeez, that's a lot. Hmm, something I should have looked closer at, probably. But I had to have 32 gigs, so. Fortunately, I guess I'm meeting the requirement on that end. Drop the requirements. Oh. I was about to say, because, like, I might not actually have, like, the. Like. Oh. I need to get up there, but I don't know if I can. Oh, I don't really want that. Shouldn't have picked that up. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, chest. I still have a 30% chance to drop resin on death. mod that helps use optimization. Yeah. If nothing else, there might be one in the future that helps. I have no idea. Looks like there's an item up there, but... Okay. Enough wandering around here. I thought there was something here, but I guess not. door though yeah if the company doesn't make further optimizations like you can definitely tell like this game people are gonna like it enough that even fans will probably try and work something out I can only imagine Close on time when aiming alt fire has okay. Oh, I don't know what that is. Huh? Encountered armor fauna. Shell seems highly durable. Yep, that's pretty durable. That's true. Oh, bleh. oh god, it's got bug face. Dispatched. Yeah, get wrecked. Get dispatched, idiot. Piercing sounds like a good trait. It's like a pistol, though. Gotta level up those traits, though, right? Yeah. Oh, this next room might be the room that I need to get to. Oh. Ugh. Xenoglyph 
Joseph spoke of their single-mindedness, but did not prepare me for... I barely managed to dispatch the sentience that attacked me. I've never encountered such hostility and madness. But that writing? It spoke of these severed brethren. I don't know enough to understand yet, but what conceivable force could have caused any intelligent life to become like this? Mm. This feels really dangerous to engage with this one. I've never done that before. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so the next room is basically where we need to go next. There's only two warp points in this whole area. Jeez. Okay. Side room over here with the chest. Mm. Okay. There, got rid of that. That's a relief. Permanent upgrades. So what was wrong with the extermination sphere? Uh, it'll kill my parasites, and all my parasites are my babies, and I don't want that to happen. So they're precious children, and I must keep them. Because they're all good. They're all good beans. Objective updated. Send them out. What's this? New gun. Hollow Seeker. Oh, that sounds badass. Waves. Oh, this is a good gun. I don't want that parasite. Not a good bean. Yeah, bad bean. Oh! Oh my god, it's one. They're actually alive. Oh, you got tentacle hands. Oh. Great. Huh. 
good. That's cursed. And I pick up new weapons, so that's not good. Okay. Oh, there's health on the other side. <laughs> that, was, that was really close. almost didn't make that jump. We're in there. We're making good progress in this tonight. Oh, ball. Hmm, that seems dangerous. I know why they became severed. Divine punishment for failing ascension. Ascension. No sooner has the word escaped my lips than a vast image of the transcendent watcher in the deep below consumes my mind. I have begun having visions of where I have yet to go. They lead me continually downwards from Olympus and into myself. I alone am worthy. What happened to her? Jeez. Yeah, Jeez. <laughs> uh, Celine, uh, yeah, getting a little into it there. You know what? I just realized something. Uh, I've been trying to remember, like, the the aliens or whatever in this. They remind me of something, and I couldn't place what it was. Uh, uh, and I realized suddenly in this very moment what it, uh, what it was. And, uh, let's see if I can find a picture of it. It reminds me of... Find a good picture of it. None of these pictures are good. Ugh. There it is. It reminds me of the uh, Manny Manny statue from Earthbound. Look at it. Let's see. I'm like, definitely, definitely evil. Mm. Mm. Also, apparently you can get this on Etsy. I'm like, seriously? If you, if you need, if you need an evil, uh, uh, Annie Manny statue, uh, there you go. Apparently, they apparently exist on Etsy. Reminds me of those guys. Mm. Can't pick up a new weapon. Oh, this one would be slightly better too. Be careful, don't go too fast. I'm sure knowing Earthbound it's a reference to something. So maybe they're both referencing the same thing. More writing. Oh. Our connection to the brethren was destroyed. We descended into the abyss at last complete upon returning our brethren feared us like a decoy. Hold on. Oh. Oh, there's so many. Can I shoot them through the door like this? Yes, I can. 
What foot? Oh, whoa! Oh, waves. Oh, got its face stuck in the door, huh? Oh, their health kind of recovers this. This is dangerous. Whoa! Oh, whoa! It's really close. Just gonna blast it. Oof. Ugh. Damn. At least my corpse is caking it up. Oh, geez, are we back in the forest? Oh, we're a little ways back. But we unlocked a new weapon. Just one, though. Simulation mode tier unlocked. Is it shut ship simulation computer to access? Uh, so we have to go through it all, huh? And then successful overloads generate energy bolts. That's pretty good. Uh, we're at eight eight hours now, so unfortunately I don't think we have time for another run, but that was a pretty good run. I do say so myself. Did good that did really good that time. So probably in this area we we'll probably want to make a beeline for the boss. Might even be able to get to the next area perhaps. Like there might be a shortcut now or something like that. Progress. Oh eighty four percent. Oh there's all kinds of stuff here. Hmm. Weapon research. Oh, parasite expert. That's me. Artifact expert. Hmm. Right. Achievements. I bet it wasn't too far off from this. Hmm. It was a really good run tonight. I feel really good about that. Yeah. What's the rob? What's what do you mean what's the rob? What does that mean? This is a 31% orb. What orb? <laughs> I've looked away from the screen. I I remember no such orbs. <laughs> Ugh. How is there one? This is really good. <sighs> Maybe the giant white orb? Oh, it's for co-op play. If you want to play with a friend. Mm. Oh, my goodness. I think we've done really good tonight. My goodness. Like, we got a fair amount of done in Resident Evil. Uh, I definitely need a refresh. Yeah. We did uh, a fair amount in uh, And we also did a fair amount in Returnal. So, feeling really good about that. Thank you. Thank you, Monty. Hmm. Now this is interesting, because I think my computer is definitely, like... Must be... That's better. It's more my phone, I guess. There we go. Yeah. Alright. Uh, anyways, how's everyone doing? Hope everybody's enjoyed the stream tonight. Hmm. You know... Things have been going pretty good. You know, I was talking about uh, kind of just my feelings with things lately at the beginning of the stream. You know, like, I'm still, like, I'm still growing, you know? Even though it's, like, maybe slower than my peers in a lot of ways. Uh, you know... Like, I'm still doing better than I was. Mm. 
slow and steady. You know. Slow is fine. Yeah, agreed. A bad water filter wasn't working well lately, but it's fixed now. I got the emergency reserves restocked. Oh, I see, I see. Slow and steady is still progress. Yeah. I just think that sometimes I wonder if there's like things I could be doing that maybe like improve things for everybody or, you know. What I could be doing better, you know? Still gotta get flu and COVID shots and like food. Oh, I see are COVID shots available for you there? They're not available here yet. Oh, jeez. Yo, Tessa, thank you for the sub. Thank you. Aw. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the sub. Much appreciate it. 14 months. Oh my god, thank you. Uh, other people's growth is like super random. It's true. It's true. I mean, and like, I know all this stuff. And I'm no stranger to kind of slow and steady, so like, it's not really a big deal, I guess. How you doing? Good. I'm just kind of vibing right now. We had two very good runs tonight. We got a lot done in Resident Evil, and we got a lot done in Returnal. And I'm feeling pretty good. Mm. Like, I guess there's just like a level of like, you know. I feel, I feel like a little bit like, at like an in-between phase in my life. I'm just like wondering where things are going, what I should be doing, you know? Some things are for surviving, some are for thriving. Mm. Well, I'm thriving today. That's for sure. Why do you get a muzzle on? Did you bite white? No. So I don't get into the Halloween candy. And definitely not. Uh... <laughs> and definitely not the writer's poorly disguised fetish. Absolutely not that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she got into the candy last year. And now we're taking precautions. <laughs> oh, not that. It's definitely not a totally spicy thing. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Yeah. That. That. Yeah. That show. That. That show definitely. Definitely. Wow. It's, am it's amazing it ran as long as it did, and if I'm not mistaken, I think it's supposed to get a new season. <laughs> That's like... Like, what are the, what are, what's the new season gonna be on? Like, it's... I, I'm pretty... Like, even, it's, even when it originally was, like, airing, I think that it wasn't, like... I don't think it was lost on people what that show was like. Yeah. Muzzle does make me think of one piece of art, and I know for a fact Code has seen uh, this piece of art and likes it. Yeah. I, I think we both know which piece it is. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, if it's the same piece of art that we're both thinking of, ugh, unfortunately that art is going to NFTs, which is such a fucking downer. Uh, it's the quantity that is the issue. The muzzle will at least slow her down. <laughs> yeah, that was a real bummer. Uh, oh my god. That looks so good, Hive. That was a, that was a good fight stick. And actually, you know what? I have the exact base for a fight stick. I won it from uh, Snackbox. And it is currently used to hold my monitor up. <laughs> uh, yeah, NFTs. Those look cute, though. Yeah, I think it like adds something to at least the Halloween look. I don't really know what this is other than like spirit of Halloween, but it it's I got some energy. I like the mask I made, which I mean, like I I made the texture. I stole the model from Splatoon 2. <laughs> I'm like, Nintendo ain't using it. Apparently, apparently the eShop uh, for the Wii U and the 3DS is officially going down. So I guess this is a good time to um, jailbreak your 3DS and Wii U. Yeah. 
before uh, you send the next fights, before I send you the next fight stick, uh, how are you with Jiji Ito, Body Horror? Totally fine. The e shop went down a few months back. Oh, jeez, has it been a few months? It was a few months back. Ooh, that sucks. Oh, oh my god, that's, that is insane. God, I saw actually the sickest um, fight stick, like, uh, or I guess technically it's a hitbox. I saw the sickest hitbox the other day. Um, I think I bookmarked it, but it was like somebody's personal Twitter, so I didn't really want to like retweet it or whatever. But it was like, it was basically just like the, you know, the arrow keys on the keyboard, um, eight keys, and it was like just barely the width of everything like all those keys it was super super compact and i was like damn i kind of really like that i'd kind of like to i kind of like to know what where they got that but uh they're japanese so i couldn't read it wasn't even translating their post so i couldn't couldn't find anything out on it that's multiplayer uh eShop has been down for quite a long time this is all the other internet things oh okay this is the online function okay i thought it was both of them going down that's online functionality for all software that's going down April 2024. Uh. <sighs> mm. Gotcha. Mm. Good to know. Packing has clarified that you can still re-download your software for the foreseeable future. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's good. It's still bad that the whole thing is down, though. Like... Nintendo was, like, the worst of, like, the big three companies for, like, maintaining, like, any kind of level of, like, purchase, like, security. Because everything that was, like, purchased for, like, the Wii and the DS was basically just like wrote off and then here we are again oh that's four candies mm. so no dice on that one but still four candies you so it looks like probably in returnal as we get farther into the game we unlock more big guns yeah it's bad multiplayer stuff for like old kills of games a little big plant one two and all those games on sony consoles is gone too yeah it's not exclusively a problem with nintendo but yeah, yeah it's a shame This is the thing that the platform holders do. Yeah. I'm kind of hungry. I just happened to scroll across this picture of of the serval holding a pine cone, just mm -hmm. like just like I do in my inventory because it is a gift. Let's see, it is right there. It is oh, I. I Banished it for two seconds. Oh, let's see, pine cone. Single pine cone. It's a gift. Oh. Why does it have a pine cone? I don't know. I don't know why I have a pine cone. White gave it to me. Now it's mine. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I must protect. I must mm -hmm. protect Pinecone. Go back in inventory. <laughs> single Pinecone, but will it be kept next to single egg? Maybe. Uh. 
I can appreciate that cost by red servers for games, a uh, game that not many people might be playing. That's true. That is true. I mean, geez, there's games that come out like nowadays. We were just talking about that earlier, Hive, right? More. Games that come out nowadays and nobody's playing them. Oh, oh 27 squats. I often think about that, like, and you know what, like, playing Kill a Kill the other night kind of brought it back up into, like, my focus, which was, like, you know, it's kind of a shame when you have games like this that, like, you know, like, you know, the majority of people probably didn't play online to any degree, because I think, like, for Kill a Kill, like, less than 2% of people have, like, 100 matches in the game, which is just, like, oh, it's kind of a bummer but at the same time you end up with like people that are like really dedicated to it yeah like two percent of people that play the game have like 100 matches um like but you still get these people that are like super dedicated to the game and you know something that i can appreciate is how like you have uh thank you you have like people that are super dedicated to like this one particular game and they've kind of made it their own by making a modded version uh, with Restitched. And I kind of love that. Like, I definitely, I definitely, oh, I don't know what those are. Oh, those are um, chocolate coins. There's a chocolate toonie there. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Our fault does not have enough con current players on Steam to create a full lobby for a single instance. That's yeah, that's rough. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta get that butt up. I don't know what the context for that is, but I agree. Mm. But yeah, no. Uh, I might have to check out Restitched. I mean, they basically add four characters into the game, and they rebalance everything, and it sounds really good. And honestly, the more I play, like, the Kill a Kill fighter, I kind of like it. Like, I think that, like, there's actually, there's some validity to this. It's not just, it's not just completely, it's not just a slap together, you know, uh, quick buck. You know, there is actually a game in there. That is five candies, which means we're going to do a roll. It's the... Uh, we have the Misa hat already tonight. Let's roll it again. Five candies. It's the paintbrush. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's right, too. My mom has the Switch now, so I won't be able to play Splatoon. Hmm. Oh yeah, so anyways, mom's been playing uh been playing um Tears of the Kingdom. Uh she's liking it so far, but she did have like a little bit of a scare. Um like in the first big island area, um and I had I actually had trouble in that section too, which was kinda surprising that they have such a hard section that early is that one, like, in the first three, or I think it's like the third shrine you go to, like, it's all icy and snowy, and they want you to cook, like, a warm meal, which they do that basically in the first, in Breath of the Wild also, but it's just, like, the area structure is weird, and it's hard to, like, navigate, and, um, anyways, mom had some trouble in that section. She got to a point where she thought she was, like, stuck, and she's like, oh, like, she's like, I'm running out of food to keep warm, and all my weapons are broke, and everything's going wrong. And I'm like, oh no. And anyway, so I was able to help her out. She was actually completely fine. It's just that she got to the glider things uh, at the very end of that area. And she thought you had to put a fan on the gliders, but because she had broke all her weapons, she didn't have anything to activate the fan with. So she thought the glider was just going to fall straight down into the abyss. Uh, she didn't realize that the gliders don't necessarily need a fan on them. It's just like, they're, they're like made of stone. How are they flying? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Why? Yeah. 
Which is a really good point. Like, if you're, like, somebody that doesn't play a lot of video games, you probably look at that and be like, these are far too heavy to, like, fly, right? Yeah, video game magic, exactly. Because she thought, she thought it needed, like, the fan on it to actually be able to fly. Modern technology. <laughs> so... So she thought she was stuck there for a hot minute, but she was she was she was okay. Mm. Squad jail is the context. Oh, yeah, true. So, but she's enjoying it so far, and um, she ultimately <laughs> where she decided to put down Elden Ring was she got to um the second Loretta fight. <laughs> Which is quite funny because Loretta was kind of like my mom's like big standout fight in Elden Ring. That was the fight where she like learned all the stuff about combat. It was like, you know, through and through when she beat Loretta for the first time, she was like really like satisfied, satisfied. You know, she learned a lot. She carried a lot of what she learned to other bosses and uh, she did really good. Uh, but it was a really hard fight. Like it took her a few days to beat Loretta for the first time. Uh, getting to Loretta a second time, uh, she, she was like, she's like, I beat Loretta once already. What the hell is she doing back here? And I'm like, yeah, like the game, you fight bosses multiple times sometimes in this game. And, and she's like, yeah, but I beat her already. <laughs> yeah, but Loretta's in her fleshy form. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, but mom was like, she was like, no, I think I just want to start tears now. So, so she decided to put down Elden Ring for a while. Yeah, I mean you fight uh, Margaret three times, right? So, uh, which I don't know if I was there for when she fought Margaret because you have to fight. Um, yeah, you have to fight them like. Before you can enter like this snowy area, right? At least once, or is that like after you come back? I can't remember that very well. No, I think that I think you have to do that to fight to get to the snowy area to begin with, right? So I think she did beat him. That was like completely like I didn't see that fight at all. Hmm. I think that's how it went down. But she, the the stopping point was uh, the fire giant and uh, the second fight with Loretta. So fire giant, I think she could have taken. She just was kind of frustrated with the fight, I think, which I don't blame her. It's kind of a weird fight where everything is like such large scale and you have to do a lot of the fight uh, by moments on horseback. But also you have to kind of know when to hop off your horse. So, eh. But she, she, she enjoyed Elden Ring. Yeah, Fire Giant feels more overwhelming than it is. Yeah. And I think that's like, that's like a big thing for my mom is like, if the, if the task seems really overwhelming, that like gets to her a lot faster than, than how hard the task actually is. Because the thing was, was it's like, like she was like mentioning about like the fire giant. She's like, oh, I don't know if I'll ever beat the fire giant. I'm like, yeah, but you've had him down like down like to less than less than ten percent health like multiple times. And she's like, yeah, but I can't do it. And I'm like, you can, you can do it. Like it's just just a matter of like getting. It's just gonna take one one of those attempts. that's gonna gonna get him. And she's like, yeah, but it takes forever. And so she wasn't really that into fighting the fire giant. To be fair, she was ultimately mostly into exploring. She really likes exploring. But, you know, it, uh, I'm good though. I think, I think Elden Ring was a big success. I think that, um, eventually someday after she finishes Tears, um, I think I'm going to see if she wants to play Dark Souls, uh, one and maybe, or Bloodborne, one of those two. I think she'd really, really, really like Dark Souls one. Cause I think that like, she likes the open world of Elden Ring, but it's almost too big by moments for her. And that's like, that's something that I think that I can understand. Um, and I think like the more direct experience of like Dark Souls might appeal to her more. Having like, having like hard goals of go to X place, do X thing, uh, might, might be a little bit better. 
Check her into uh, playing the secret best Soulsborne game, Demon Souls. Hmm. I don't know. As weird as it is to say, Demon Souls might be a little bit too dated for my mom. Yeah, she won't like it. No, I don't think she will either. Not enough exploration. Yeah, I don't think there's enough exploration either. Like, every area is in a big line, and I think that... that like, Demon Souls is, like, mean by moments in certain ways that, like, the other Dark Souls games are. Ugh. Where it's just, like, you need to just know to do, like, X thing. Or approach X thing. Or doing it in this sequence is just so much easier than doing it in this, any other sequence. Like, I don't know. Like, Demon Souls is, like, a maybe. That said, like, I think, like, her experience with Elden Ring was really, really good. She really, really did like it a lot. Yeah. I was thinking, wait, it is? And then I remember the one part with the Shrine of the Storms. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, getting, getting the sword and doing that one part. It's not, like, that hard of a fight. It's just needing to know that this is the thing you need to do this fight. Otherwise, like, yeah. All right, let's play 20 minutes till dawn. Yeah. Uh, just gonna load this in here. Uh, tomorrow is gonna be more more Resident Evil. Uh, more Returnal. And I think Swallow the Sea. I think Swallow the Sea is up first. I have to admit, like, I think, I think, like, next week I might, like, pace my streams a little bit different so that maybe I'm just focusing on two games a night. Yeah. Yeah. This is the false idol boss, yeah. Yeah. I personally think Demon's Souls had the best atmosphere with Bloodborne and Elden Ring in second place. Yeah, I, I think that's fair. But I didn't click with Bloodborne as a result, the game won't let me progress. I didn't click uh, progress and Elden Ring isn't weird and scrappy enough. It's the big budget version of the cool atmosphere. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I can see that. Like Demon's Souls is like cold. And like raw in a way that like the rest of the games aren't like and it's like in a way that like a lot of games aren't which is I think what makes Demon Souls like so good like it feels so unique because everything just feels so so like I don't know like I guess raw is probably just the best way to put it. Mm. <laughs> Demon Souls is like a uh, metal band's demo tape and they recorded it in their garage on 8-track. Elden Ring is like their return to form big studio album. Yeah. Yeah. Demon's Souls is a jank mid-budget game from 2009, and in some ways it makes it better. It's very weird. Yeah, definitely weird, that's for sure. In some ways it's harder to get into. Yeah, I mean, like, there's a lot of things in Demon's Souls that make it really hard to get into, but, but it is good. I definitely agree. I still don't know, like, how high Demon's Souls sits with me as far as, like, all the demon, all the games in the series. I think Bloodborne's still like the high point for me because I just think that like 
it's like the perfect balance between like the lore, the gameplay, the the world building, just the structure and just the pacing and the bosses. It all just comes together perfectly in Elden Ring or uh, Bloodborne. So those it hits especially hard for me, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get back into playing and enjoying it uh, because I played it back when uh, that was all there was uh, in the Soulsborne series. Yeah, that makes sense. Like that's the thing is it it's it kind of sparked a whole genre. I mean, to be fair, the genre did exist before. Demon Souls, but Demon Souls kind of crafted it into its own like image, I guess. Beca it became a little bit of its own thing. It was an offshoot. It's it's kind of weird because it's like an offshoot of like Metroidvanias, but it's just like it's so specific and refined in how it is that it became its own genre. <laughs> its own genre that like is indistinguishable really from metroidvanias other than if you want to count them count metroidvanias as just 2d which i mean that's really i don't think that's something that needs to be included in metroidvanias you could say they're 2d or 3d i love the cryptic uh bs but only because at that point in time people were happy to share that info uh, Oh, all right, I'm gonna at least get a little bit of 20 minutes to die. Or 20 minutes till dawn, 20 minutes to die. Very different game. Mm. I'm only gonna do a little bit though. I kind of went a little bit long on uh, Returnal, but we were having a really good run, so. I stood by daylight. 20 minutes till dawn, there we go. Yeah, I'm just a little bit sleepy. If it's Metroidvania is tied to becoming more 3D Zelda, but also they told them to make Oblivion and they wanted to modernize Kingsfield. Yeah. 